Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So a couple months ago, I uploaded a video about the Ugreen DH4300 Plus NAS. In that video, I kind of go over the setup process, all the features of it, but I thought I'd follow up with another video to let you know what my experience has been using it for the past couple of months, because I know there are some people, some questions I've had asking me exactly that. Is it worthwhile to set up? And to be honest, I wish I had done this years ago. I put it off for many years. I had looked into them, but I didn't know if I really understood it. I thought it was going to be really complicated to set up and manage, but it has actually been quite the opposite. Ugreen has done an incredible job to make the 4300 Plus easy to use. Now, I'm sure many of you can relate. If you're a drone pilot, you capture a lot of content on your action camera. It doesn't take long to have many hard drives filled up with content. Stuff you really want to keep, but you're not quite sure what to do with it. You end up getting files, random files on multiple hard drives, and it can be really hard to find stuff that you're looking for. And then on top of that, for myself, I also create social media content here on YouTube and other platforms. So the content was starting to get out of control. And of course, the devices we capture and edit on have very limited storage. So you're always using hard drives, working drives in order for editing, temporary storage. And I found it getting really difficult to keep everything organized. Or maybe perhaps you just travel a lot. You take a lot of photos and videos with your phone. You've got lots of videos and photos from your travel, holidays, all kinds of potential irreplaceable memories that could easily be lost if you damage your phone, you lose your phone. For the most part, a lot of people turn to cloud storage to make sure they have a recent backup of all their precious memories. But the problem with cloud storage is that it can get very expensive. And I talked about prices in my full review video. If you've got a one terabyte device that's getting full, you have to buy a pretty big package, which gets very costly. But something like the Ugreen NAS here can back everything up automatically. You can set it up right in the software, right within the app that all your photos and videos get backed up automatically. That allows you to eliminate your cloud storage bills every month. Now, the other nice thing I really like about it, and uh, it's giving me a little bit of peace of mind, is redundancy. As you can see, I have four drives installed in here. And one of the things during the setup is asking you what type of RAID you want to use, if you want to use RAID. RAID has a lot of benefits, but one of the benefits is redundancy. So if one of these drives, I can have any one of those drives fail and I won't lose any data. I simply have to replace the defective drive and the RAID will rebuild it all. Unlike a traditional hard drive, if you've got stuff backed up onto it, if that drive fails, that data is gone forever. You do have to provide your own drives, but installing them is super easy. They come with these cradles. You just attach your drive and then they plug right in. And that's basically it for hardware setup. Now, the only regret I have right now is that I went with four four terabyte drives and that's fine for right now, but I can see that filling up fairly quickly over time. I kind of wish I had gone with eight terabyte drives. I think that would have given me a lot of storage for the short term, but also for the long term. Now, as mentioned, setting it up for the first time is super easy. They actually have NFC built right into the front there. So all you have to do is hold your phone directly to it. And as you can see, it'll pop right up. That'll launch the setup procedure to get you started with the setup. On top of that, there's also a QR code right there in the lid. So you can just scan that. And again, that will prompt you to start the setup. You can set it up from an iPad, from your iPhone, or from a desktop or laptop. So it's very flexible in how you utilize it. When I set mine up, I did it all right from my iPad. I didn't even connect it to my computer till later on. It's as simple as plugging it into your home Wi-Fi. Right now, I have mine plugged into my Bell router. I'm with Bell for internet, and I just have it plugged into the Ethernet port. And as you can see here on my phone, I can launch the Ugreen NAS. It brings it right up. It shows us all the apps that we currently have installed because this thing is almost like a little mini computer. There's apps that are pre-installed on it to help you get the most out of it. And they actually have a little app center as well where you can add new features or uninstall features that you're not going to be using. We can go into our files and we can bring up all our footage. And as you can see there, we can stream the 4K high definition footage right from the NAS. So it's super convenient on how you access it. Now I do most of my management and editing on an iPad, so I can bring up the Ugreen NAS here as well. Again, there's all my apps and settings. If there's any updates to the software or any problems, it will give you a message on the screen. Now, when it comes to editing, unfortunately, you cannot edit directly off the NAS. You do have to download them first. So what I do now is I have a working drive 
for projects that I'm currently working on when I'm done with the files or I want something as a permanent backup that I don't need to access on a daily basis. All I have to do is simply plug my SSD or thumb drive right into the front here. And now I can transfer the content from this drive over to the NAS. So it's really easy to back up your content. You can even be filming with a drone or an action camera, take the memory card out, plug it into the NAS and just transfer the content over directly. And content management within an iPad or an iPhone or an Android device is super simple. For example, on my iPad here, you can see I can launch the Files app. Right off to the side here, I've added the NAS as a location. So I can easily move files from the NAS over to my iPad or vice versa. As you can see, I can even just go in and browse all the content. We can go into our footage. There's my drone footage. And again, I can bring it up and preview it. Again, that was being streamed directly off the NAS through the iPad Files app. So essentially, it's just like a hard drive. You can browse the directory structure, move files around. So it's extremely convenient on how you use it. And that's the same for my iPhone here. You can see I have the NAS added there as well as a location. And again, here's all my footage. Again, we could just watch it right through the Files app or transfer it if we need to do something with it. Now, another really nice feature of the NAS, if you have a large media collection of movies, TV shows, you can have your NAS manage it all for you. Right within the NAS software, they have something called Theater. So we can bring that up and it's going to automatically categorize all your movies and TV shows. You can watch it from any device. I can stream it directly to my iPad here, my iPhone. They even have an app for smart TVs. I have it installed on my Apple TV. All I have to do is launch the Ugreen Theater app on my Apple TV, and now I can stream any of the movies from my collection. So all in all, I've been extremely pleased with the Ugreen DH4300+. Plus. Again, this is something I wish I had set up years ago. It has really streamlined my workflow. I'm organized now. I know where all my files are, and I just have a little bit of peace of mind that I have redundancy, that I don't have to worry about a hard drive failing. So I hope if you have been in the market to pick up a NAS, uh, this video has been helpful to you once you've known what my thoughts are after using it for the last couple months. And the DH4300 Plus is a nice affordable solution compared to some of the other similar offerings on the market. Ugreen sells a wide variety of different NASs for different types of users. They have some really high-end professional ones. Some of them can get a little costly, but the DH4300 Plus is reasonably priced. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.